Hey everybody! So, as you can see, I'm standing in the doorway of my craft room and we're going to do a little tour. So I am just going to flip the camera around and we'll get started. So here's where you walk in. It's kind of an overview of the whole thing. I've got my little Do Not Disturb Crafting in Progress sign that I made. <laughs> I have a step ladder behind the door here. I do have some stuff in the closet. We'll get to that later. Um, my little um, calendar that I get done at Walmart every year with personalized pictures. That's my nephew and my niece. Um, a little bit of junk on top of this that I need to get rid of. Um, this is going to be a sublimation oven. I just recently bought myself a nice new toaster oven. Because this thing is really old. So I thought I'll buy myself a nice new toaster oven and then we'll use the old one for sublimation rather than spending the money on a brand new sublimation oven. Um, we have all of these down here. They're all labeled so I'm, I'm not going to go through them. You can kind of see what's in all of these. Um, and a lot of them are actually still empty, so I have room to grow in this drawer. Yeah, this isn't easy to open with one hand. I actually had to put felt underneath this because it used to squeal really bad. This is just wood on wood. Um, so this is all like my joy mats. These are some little um, vinyls that I got from the Dollar Tree. That I haven't tried yet. Um, I've got a bunch of different mats in here. It's a little unorganized. Some clearance ones that I found. Different size mats. And then I also have some Armor Etch. I love that stuff. And I have some acrylic ornaments to engrave. And some gloves for the vinyl. vinyl like reading vinyl. Armor Etch. <laughs> So that's that guy. Um, the reason this is so narrow is actually originally in the other room that I used to be in, I had my Cricut machines on here, which was actually pretty perfect. Um, i just pull it out from the wall a little bit if I had a longer mat, and uh, they fit really nicely on here. I, had a, I have my Maker and my Joy right on here. So here... Now, I'm not really thrilled with this. I like having the storage, but you can see how tight it is back here to get to my desk. Um, so, this room is definitely still a work in progress. I haven't even been in here that long. So, for it to be as far along as it is and as nice it is, as it is, I'm happy with it at the moment, but there's definitely room for improvement. So, I just recently decided to make this like a little cutting station this technically isn't mine so I'm going to be replacing it with a newer one like this but approximately the size eventually um, got some scrapbooks photo albums um, let's see these are those Display cases that I just got with some extra storage folders. Um, these are sublimation coffee mugs that I got on Amazon that I haven't tried yet. Uh, they came in like little boxes and with a coaster that you can make to match the mug, which I thought was pretty cool. So that's a gift idea I have for at some point. Um, I was considering sewing. So my grandma gave me these sewing books that she had. Um, and then this is just like, this whole thing is just popsicle sticks. And this is full of different sized dowels and different colored pipe cleaners. Um, this is a 12 by 12 shadow box that I got from Walmart. Um, there's nothing in it yet. It's just for lack of better place to put it that's where it is um it's 
for a project in the future whenever I come up with something. And I just like to have stuff like that on hand because you don't always find them for a good price. Um, and then these are all my insert cards and I've actually gotten like some whatchamacallit printed ones from like Hobby Lobby uh, Joann's and Michael's so I have all that stuff in here and I tried to like put these in here so if I decide I want to make a different insert or something for the cards I have the dimensions and I don't have to look it up um, also it kind of helped me separate the different sizes so that's the same in the bottom one uh, where do we want to go to next? Let's go over here. So there's the doorway. I'm going to kind of back up a little bit so you can see this whole thing or most of it. So I have these shelves up here. Um, there's a little bit of a mess going on on the counter at the moment because I have, I'm working on this and then I just got this stuff. No, well, that's a birthday card my grandma just gave me because my birthday's in a couple of days from when I'm filming this. Um, today is May 21st. My birthday's the 23rd. Um, and then this is, I have, this is all stuff I'm selling. Just random stuff I have around. So that little envelope in there is something I just sold on Mercari. And then I have a notebook in there. And then I have to fix this the owl came off of it I'll show you when I go over there but I'm just trying to give you a little bit of an overview at the moment um but yeah this is basically the whole thing while we're back further you can kind of see this is like one of those little room dividers it has a mirror on it and it has like this metal scroll work in front of the mirror so what I did is I took some metal hooks like s hooks and i hung which i will also show you i have some right here i took these buckets from the dollar tree and hung eight of them which i only had seven so i had to order more online which is why i have those on the counter but that works really good it's in the corners out of my way um it's not even attached to the walls just standing there and um, I think it works pretty good, actually. I had no idea what to do with them for the longest time. Um, you can see my ginormous tripod standing there. I just ordered a um, one that can sit on the counter. So next video will be a nice top-down view, hopefully. And I am currently... I just use an editing software called... What was it? I'll be honest, I don't remember. Um, my last video will say what it is. I'm sure it has that watermark right over it. I wasn't thrilled about that, but I also wasn't about to pay for it when I'd never used it before. And I'm not looking to subscribe to something. I would rather just try to use something free, if possible. Because, like I said, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, so I don't want to sink a ton of money into it. Alright, so anyway, moving on here, we've got command hooks here and here. Let me move this guy out of the way. So, basically, I just hung, I have two long standard grip mats hanging here with my acrylic ruler. And then on this side, I have all sorts of them. The ones I don't use the most well, hardly at all. I've only used the strong grip, I think, twice, maybe three times. I've never used the fabric. I have two light grip, two standard grip, and then this guy almost doesn't even fit on here. And I'm sorry if that lawn mowing's loud. It's hot in here. Um, I have the window open. Kind of weird that you stopped mowing right when I said that. <laughs> So yeah, I just hung these on the side of here. Um, let's go around the side real quick. Here is my little sign that I have to fix. Like I said, the owl just 
black glue. I only used hot glue, which I guess was a mistake. Um, so, excuse my bottles here. I only empty it every so often, which obviously I need to. Um, I got these cool um, hanging tags. It just clips right onto here. Um, I got the idea from Bethadilly. She had some different shaped ones, but I just found them on Amazon. They were pretty cheap. I got a whole box of them for... I'll be honest, I don't remember how much, but it was a good deal, and I still have a bunch extra. So I'll just give you a look into this. Um, I've got my mug press, which I haven't tried yet. I've got this little, like, little handheld sewing machine, like if you get a hole in your clothes or something... I got that for 20 bucks, and it's my color, so that was too perfect not to buy. Um, this is my mini easy press. I just like to keep it in that because it's so awkward. Um, gift ideas, so I just have like stuff that I've bought for people, and then some other stuff to like, I have like a shadow box layout type of thing. For my dad that I, oh, which I'm glad I just looked through here because now I can do that for Father's Day. Um, but yeah, I just have a bunch of stuff like that in there. Ah, oh, my hand's stuck. Maybe I should use the handles. Um, canvas, so this is just like painting stuff that I don't get into all that often, but I like to every once in a while. Um, assorted salt, small supplies, just random stuff, um, you know. Hangers, mini jars, twist caps, those S-hooks I was talking about, um, extra bins, stuff like that. Just like, I'll find a better way to organize this stuff eventually, but it works for now. Put this guy back. I'm going across here. I've got my little... Michael's carousel with all my Cricut tools. And I don't know why. Oh, maybe because it's hitting this. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why it doesn't spin very well. That's why. So yeah, I've got my, I keep my hot glue gun here and my drill bat battery charger there. Um, somebody made me this little owl candle and it's too cute to burn. So I just got this little um, mirror, I don't know what you want to call that. I got that from the Dollar Tree to put it on so it can just sit there and be cute. And then, um, let's move this out of the way, I got a couple extra drill batteries there, I've got this little um, glue gun drip pad silicone mat from Dollar Tree, um, I have this temperature, infrared thermometer thingy, just some random stuff. Um, the pops of color, I've used them a little bit. Um, I think they'll work best for die cutting, in my opinion. Um, just putting some colors on paper and then cutting a die out of it so it's like different colors. I think that's pretty cool. Um, these bins are just kind of like bits and scraps of paper and vinyl. This is a, like, off-brand ShamWow type of cloth that I got from the Dollar Tree that I want to try for my stamps instead of spending the money on a stamp chamois. And there's just random stuff in here. Like I said, this room's still quite a work in progress. Um, I don't even know what this is. Batteries, okay. Um... These are little battery operated tea light candles. I've got little bags that can be heat sealed. Some of these little syringes for if I ever get into the resin, which I will show you something that I found in a minute that is really exciting. Um, I have these little storage organizer boxes from Michaels. I really like them. They're pretty affordable for their size. Um, I think these are the, yes, these are these. They actually do come with 
a little dry erase marker, which I don't really understand how it's dry erase because that does not feel like that type of surface, but whatever. I just made labels for mine with my Cricut and used those. Um, this person really have to mow their lawn right now. Uh, I've just got like a bunch of glass stuff, things I found on clearance, um, citrus strip, which I, apparently I didn't have to buy. My dad had already had some, but by the time he said he had some, I couldn't return it. So I just have a ton of that. Um, again, so like these were all on clearance. Those ones with the pink in the back were on clearance. Those are all plastic. I got some of these from the Dollar Tree. I think those were from the Dollar Tree. I just got a bunch of different glasses and stuff. These are actually little dessert glasses from the Dollar Tree, but I actually made somebody a set of shot glasses out of them. So I bought some more because I thought that would be a cool gift idea for somebody. Um, we've got, I use those S hooks to hang some stuff on the sides here. I got a little back scratcher. Fly swatter because this time of year we get a lot of flies coming out of our attic. Um, I have a nice metal ruler that I got, I think, from Michael's. Um, moving from the top down, yeah, all my spray paints, which I don't use in the house, but I just store them in here so that nobody uses them on me. Um, I got these, I think, were all on clearance, are really cheap, so I bought those as gift ideas. This is the coolest can koozie I've ever found, okay, so it's metal. And it perfectly fits a glass, like, beer bottle, which I can't have beer, but I can have hard cider, and so those fit in there, which is perfect. And they're not twist-off tops, so it has a little, I'm sorry if I'm shaky because I'm reaching really far, it has a little bottle opener on the bottom of it. So that's the coolest thing, and I really would like to do the citrus strip on that um, with a design that I have somewhere. I forget where I have it, but there's something funny about Sasquatch. <laughs> um, it was a joke from our campground. But yeah, so I have some glass, wine glasses back there, the stemless ones, a bunch of different little jars and stuff. Um, this I'm just using as a bin for now because originally I was gonna use this as my little desktop garbage can but I tried to scrape this off and it didn't go so well. I thought it might go down smooth, but it seemed like it was going to take a lot more work than I wanted to put into it. So then I just have, my dad has like a little um, model train track set up downstairs. So he wants me to make little um, billboard signs for these. And then these are broken and I fixed them before with... Um, where is it broken? I don't know. But it's like just a piece hanging somewhere, but it's still attached to this gel. So I fixed those with, um, why can't I think of the word? I'm sure you guys are screaming it if you're watching this. Um, oh my goodness. Super glue. Wow. Yeah. So that worked once for a little bit, but hey, I mean, if I can get a little more use out of my clips, why not? Um, these are just some random notebooks and sticky notes. Um, this was actually from college. I went to college for baking and pastry arts. Um, didn't end up staying in the field, but I still have that. So I use that for weighing my items when I ship them. Um, this used to be for my little scraps when I was weeding, but I ended up finding a different solution. I didn't care for that that much. Um, I got a two pack of these from the Dollar Tree. I just put my alcohol in it for cleaning my stamps, and so far so good. Um, this is just the box from this little guy. Nice little vacuum that I got on Amazon. Works pretty good. Um, there's not really much to clean up right now though, so. I haven't even charged it yet, and it's still going. 
Um, I've only used it a few times, but that's still pretty surprising. Good, go away with that thing. <laughs> um, my friend gave me this little guy, so I just kind of stuck him there. Um, I had gotten some business cards done on Canva, so I have those there. Those assorted little tapes. Um, these are just like little scrapers and stuff, and I use those with the pops of color. Um, I have this, which I'm going to eventually paint for my niece. Um, I have a little bit of things I found cheap for resin when I get into that. This is an old coffee mug my mom let me use for cleaning my paintbrushes. I keep my joy up here mostly. And then I got these little containers from Amazon, which I think it came with one or two more that I have in the other room to hide. It's just for hiding your cables. Like, I have a whole power strip inside of this one. And then I have, like, the, the battery pack things from, like, my laptop and just, like, the big, the big things that are eyesores. I mean, yes, it still doesn't look the greatest. But it, I think it looks better than it would if it was all just sitting out. So that's those. Um, I also have all of these that I had bought from Walmart with the intention of redesigning them and selling them. Because they were all on clearance for like a dollar a piece. I kind of haven't gotten to that. Um, in the same sense, I might just keep them because I love using pop sockets. Like... They are fantastic, and I kind of don't really even care that they say they're TikTok. As you can see, this old phone I have sitting here has one on it. Um, Alright, moving along here. I have all of my scissors here for now. I actually just got, well, I have a bunch of the pegboard stuff from the Dollar Tree, and then I ended up ordering more of the pegboards online because... None of the stores anywhere near me carry them anymore. They have accessories and stuff, but they don't carry the actual pegboards. So that's something else I'm going to be adding to this room. And I want to put all of these onto that and use this for these. And I might have to get another one. But I have been seeing these things all over all the crafting stores, Amazon, they're expensive. Why are you spending $12 on these? I got this thing for like four or five bucks at Walmart in the makeup section. Go to Walmart. <laughs> um, so this is the little washi tape storage thing from Michaels. I got on sale for 15 bucks. Um, if you can help it, try not to buy any of their storage unless it's on a sale. Because otherwise, I think it's really expensive. Um, I got this guy from Amazon. And I just have a bunch of Cricut markers and just random pens and stuff like that in there. Um, it's my lamp. <laughs> my, uh, I like it because I can kind of like bend them any which direction. If I need it brighter, I can turn those on. Um, this is my little desktop garbage can that I made, which you can see is a little full at the moment, but I put, excuse the mess, but I craft here. <laughs> Pretty appropriate, I think. Um, I got this dude at Hobby Lobby, I want to say around five or six, maybe seven dollars, but it, I know they had their store on like 40% off or something, so I don't really know how much I paid for it. I don't really keep track of all that stuff. I just know I don't like to spend a fortune on things. So anything I can find on sale, I will buy on sale. This is what I have to work on in a minute here. Well, I don't have to, but I want to so I can put it away. But it's basically just my little craft tay things that I put on everything I make. And... I like to just have a bunch of them because they're very, like, small, tedious design, if you can see that, to weed. And, well, I wouldn't say tedious. It's just time-consuming. So, like, I had to cut out a bunch of vinyl decals for some shirts I was making for somebody last night. 
And rather than wasting all the extra space around the designs, what I like to do is squeeze in a bunch of these wherever I can. And then I'll take them apart and I'll store them in this little tackle box, which I think I got at Dollar Tree in like the tool section. So like this is permanent vinyl, which I don't really use these as much anymore now that I have my stamp, which I'll show you when we get to where I store that. Um, sport is like sport iron on. Um, the sport flex. I like that stuff better. It's more flexible um, and stretchy. I feel like it holds up better than just everyday iron on. So I try to go for that when I can. So when I have some, I use the last of what I had in here. Um, this is the black and this is the white which are most commonly what I'll use. So I just did a ton of those and I'm gonna cut and weed those and put them in there and then that goes up here. And if my movements with the camera are a little fast or jumpy, I apologize because I get very into showing my stuff. <laughs> so we've got all these brushes, which if you didn't see in my other video, I got all of these from the Dollar Tree, which I didn't buy them all at once because they don't carry them that much, but I did find bigger ones. I found these things, which I still haven't tried yet, but like, I really like how squishy they are. And then, like I said, these guys are going to go into that, possibly a second one. Um, and then this was also from the Dollar Tree. It's um, a cleaner thing you put your fingers inside of it to hold it and you rub your brush against it under soapy water um i haven't decided if i actually want to keep cleaning the brushes or if i'm just going to leave them i don't know if it matters if you know let me let me know in the comments um this is my little caddy that i recent sorry if i just like totally shook the phone um I got this from Joann's, I want to say, for about $5. Um, these are those little quill tools that I got. These guys are amazing. Um, they're little weeding tools. They look like a pen, but it's not. You just have to be careful that if you're not looking and you go to click it, that you're actually clicking the clicky side and not this because I stabbed myself really good doing that before so yeah that was a two pack on Amazon for six or seven bucks I have my little paper clip here that I use for unclogging my glue because it's always clogged for whatever reason I have a bone folder that my grandma gave me I don't know that this was originally this color color's kind of gross in my opinion but hey it was free so I'll take it um I've got some Fiskars cutting tools here little exacto knife and my good scissors um let's see this is my heat tool that I got on Amazon for I want to say 11 or 12 bucks um this guy I got from Michael's works pretty good it's not as permanent as it says, though. The stuff does come off. Like, if you want to take it apart, it doesn't just fall off. But um, this stuff, which I had in one of my other videos, I haven't touched it since then. I'm past the return window, so I'm just kind of stuck with it. Um, got a Sharpie, a box cutter, some more pens that I keep close. I have this little grabber tool. Um, it has like glue on the end of it. I haven't used it yet, but when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's a good idea because I don't really have many like rhinestones and stuff like that, but I feel like that would be good for that if I end up with some more. Um, just a bunch of exacto knives I've accrued from people. Um, I have this little mini tape measure that I found. I bought a bunch of these as a like a little gift for Christmas, like stocking stuffer for everyone one year, because it's a nice little keychain. It's three feet long, I think, but it comes in really good handy for crafting if you don't want to use a giant tape measure or a ruler. Um, 
adhesive eraser, eraser, yep, eraser that I got at the Dollar Tree. Works pretty well. Uh, some low tack tape. I forget where I got that from. You can find that stuff like anywhere. And that's that. I've got my laptop here, which I usually have open. I need to wipe it down. Um, and then I have it on this thing so I can still like work underneath it or just store stuff underneath it. I got this and I stupidly was like, I'll save the money and I'll get, um, a cheaper version of the magnets for it. The, I don't know, how neodymium or something like that. So I did. Well, guess what? They barely stick as it is. And if you put anything between them, it doesn't hardly stick at all. So don't cheap out on that. Spend the money. There are things you do have to spend the money on, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I am waiting out to get some of those and I can't wait to use this. When it comes to things like this, where I'm weeding and I can just hook it down. Um, these are alcohol ink markers that I got from Amazon. I, tr I wanted to try the cheap ones and see if they're any good. They seem alright so far. Um, they're not the best quality, but like I said, I went for cheaper ones. So, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, alright, so... These I had to order online from Dollar Tree because I had bought all seven of the ones I had found in the store and then I went to a ton of Dollar Trees around and they didn't have any more and I just needed one more. So I had to order them online. Thankfully I could order them in a smaller quantity which was four so now I just have three left over. But I'm sure I'll find something to do with them. They're cute. Um, I recently found these at the Dollar Tree, which I thought were really cute, and since I bought them, I haven't seen these specific ones. So I'm really glad that I snatched them when I did. Um, I found this at the Dollar Tree, if it'll focus. Maybe? Oh, it's adhesive spray, so I haven't tried it yet, but we'll see how that goes. Um, and then this is amazing that I found this. This is resin for $5 in the new plus section at the Dollar Tree. So I was like, for $5? Yes, I will try that. Thank you. So I'm excited to try that. And then I just recently got like a bunch of different vases. I like to keep some on hand. Um, and I also just really liked this one. I feel like I saw a way to like make it look like sea glass where you mix Mod Podge and like dye inside of it and then bake it. And I thought it'd be really cool to do like maybe a color like this or like that. I don't know. I don't know. I love the blues, so I'll figure something out. Um down below we've got stickers and stencils. And, alright, I'm just going to pull this out of here. This was a freebie from scrapbook.com. I have just a ton of random stuff that I've found and accrued over the years between Dollar Tree and people buying me things and me finding things. So these are just, like, the newest stuff. Um... To see here. Stuff my grandma gave me. Letters and numbers, labels. These were all from the Dollar Tree. Um, like rub on transfers. Uh, I liked, I don't know a lot of people that get married. But <clears throat> for when I do, I like to have stuff around so that I can make a card. Um, this was like a scrapbooking set my grandma had given me when I was a kid. And I've just kept it. Um, and my stencils, I just kind of keep in here. These are, I've recently just bought these guys. I think from Joann's. 
Um, some of these are things from like, this was from a toy when I was a kid. And for whatever reason, I've kept it. But I think, you know, it's not the worst shapes in the world. Maybe I should ditch it. Who knows? <laughs> but yeah, these are stencils from when I was a kid. <laughs> these I bought recently. You know, how could you not buy the fall stuff? I love fall. I think <clears throat> summer is my favorite, like, temperature season. But fall is, like, my favorite decorative season. Um, let me know what your favorite season is down below. Oh, this one's broken. I'm not surprised. Like I said, like, a lot of these are from when I was a kid. Can you tell? Hmm. Um, these are just, like, shapes. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Cool. I don't know why I whispered that. Um, yeah, we just have all these. Hmm. Some other stuff I got these on sale I think after Christmas from Ha no Craft Smarts Michaels isn't it so those were from Michaels and I think these were from Hobby Lobby can you tell how old these are I believe these are from when my dad was a child and he is gonna be fifty next year I think so. Yeah, these are very old. I don't know. Oh, actually, yes, I have used them. I used them for my grandparents' 50th anniversary card a couple years ago. Um, just little stencils. That's a stencil I made with my Cricut inside of there with just stencil film. This isn't even open. Um... I don't know. It's, I acc uh, accumulate a ton of stuff from my grandma because she just wants to get rid of stuff. She's probably the reason I have so much crafting stuff. But, alright. Moving on. Let's put these back. Alright, that's that. Um, These are flowers that I've cut up and taken apart, so I just kind of stuck them in here. We've got some 4th of July decorative kind of stuff that I had found on sale at Joann's, um, which I will probably add these to, but I will probably also be working on that stuff soon because it's coming up. Um, we've got my 9x9 nine nine Easy Press, my 12x10 Easy Press, and I, I just like to keep them in these because I can stack them this way for one without having, which I guess I could have gotten a shelf to put in between since apparently these are from Target. I'm just going to sit on the floor. <laughs> um, these shelves, all three of these holding up my countertop are from Target. Um, and apparently a lot of the, I don't know about the Michaels, but the Ikea inserts actually fit in these supposedly because these are 13 by 13. And a lot of their stuff is the same measurement. Now, I'm not going to pull these out because they're sitting a specific way so that bow doesn't get crushed. But this is all stuff that I have listed online to sell that I've made. Um, we've got here some of the pegboard stuff I had had before I placed my order. So, I'm not going to pull it all out, but I want to show you. I found this at Joann's, which is supposed to, uh, I think it hooks, like, that or something. But basically, this is meant for, like, scissors and stuff like that. So I thought this would be a really cool idea to use with this, especially because I think it's, like, the perfect dimensions. Um, that's just a bunch of random Christmas stuff that I got on sale that I haven't, like, put with the rest of it. Um, these are all also things that I've put online for sale. And I just have box up and ready to go. These, I don't know, I might just take them apart and do something else with them. I've had them up for two years for Easter and nobody's bought them, so... I'm either going to do something different with them and gift them, or who knows. Um, 
it's kind of hard with having these boxes in here. Um, I had wanted to get one that was four wide. I couldn't find one when I had ordered this. And the reason I had ordered this was because this was not supported in the center and was starting to bow. And I didn't want to ruin a countertop like that. Especially not long after I bought it. So I was like, alright, I'm just going to get this one. And I actually did put legs on all of them to make it standing height. I think they're six inch legs. And I got them all on Amazon. Way cheaper than what I would have found them on for home, from Home Depot, which is where I got the countertop. So... You can't really see too well, but basically the majority of this is filled with these containers. Um, I don't know if I can even get one out of there the way I have this, which is kind of obvious. I don't really use that stuff very often, and I'll be honest, there's not much in them. So, oh, and this is just stuff I have set aside for the kids as they get older. Um, so yeah, it's just mostly these things. I have different types of, um, vinyls in there that I don't use that often, like holiday stuff. Like I said, a lot of these are empty. Um, and this is just, this is a project that I put in here that I haven't gotten back to. I think this is laminating pouches. This is just like random pens and pencils. So yeah, nothing exciting. Get this back out of the way. And then this is my chair. Oh, that's good for it. Um, it can go up and down, so it can get really tall. Like, I think it goes taller than the countertop. And it can be lower. I've had it lower recently because my back's been bothering me. Um, let's go to these drawers. These are from Michael's because I don't have an Ikea near me. And when I first started out with all this stuff, I didn't even realize what Ikea had. So I'm honestly kind of upset that I did what I did with all of this. Because I probably could have done something with these in one of their countertops and made it better than this. But whatever, it is what it is. So I have my TV on top. I was watching a craft room tour before and I was like ooh I should do one so yeah that's pause for me to go back to um I've got one of these from Walmart I got some glue on it but works pretty good for the price um I could probably use a new one just in a little bit um I got this basket off of Amazon if anyone uh, I'll link it in case anyone's interested because it works so well for these. Like, I had, which, after doing this, I realized I could have just put them here. But, I feel like laying stuff flat accumulates dust a lot faster than having it standing up. And I just think that looks nice. I'm kind of out of the way. And if I decided I wanted to put something decorative up here, because I'm probably going to end up putting another hook on the other side of this for this eventually. Um... So this, I had <laughs> originally hung this with two hooks. Well, one night, I was in the other room, and it went crashing down. So I redid it with four. These are all large hooks. And so far, so good. I also did have this in it, too. And I think maybe it was just too much weight. So that's why it's up there now. But, yeah, this basket has worked really well so far. Um, my main thing was I don't like this being folded. I don't want to store this folded and have it be weirdly shaped when I'm pressing shirts. So I wanted something where it can sit mostly flat and it works pretty good. It stays flat that way. So I have all of my drawers labeled. Which I think is like the second or third time I have relabeled them. Um, so I'll just kind of give you a quick look at what it looks like. Um, 
I keep my scraps. And these I got from the Dollar Tree. I don't know that they sell them anymore. At least not in the stores. They might online. They come three in a pack. I was buying the clear ones. And then they didn't have the clear ones. So I bought as many as I could when I could find them. Um, I use slap bracelets to hold my vinyl that I got really cheap on Amazon. Um, some of the longer pieces I just lay flat underneath. This was some random iron-on numbers that I got from somebody. I found iron-on vinyl at the Dollar Tree, so I thought that would be interesting to try. So I got a couple of those to try. I haven't done those yet. I've had them for a while. I just haven't gotten around to trying anything. Um, glitter iron-on. All my drawers pretty much look like this. It's just all different brands of glitter iron on and colors. Um, some stuff I got on sale. Uh, different. This one was too. Sorry. Oh, excuse me. Just different types. And I kind of went patterned. Holographic sport. So I know what's what. And I've also, if you can see, I have started... Was it in this drawer? No, it wasn't the last one. No, it wasn't. It's this one. <laughs> I have started saving just a piece of the label. So I know what brand it is and what color it is if I like it and want to purchase it again. Like, this stuff's not open yet. But, obviously, you can tell what's older. But I think... For me, personally, that's a good idea because I buy all different kinds of brands. Um, a bunch of infusible inks. Um, to this side, I have... This one's open. And what I was doing was these are all open. And I didn't have room to fit that other box, so I just kind of separated it from the other ones. This is all the butcher paper from all these boxes. I just took them, or at least not all of these, but the open ones. So I just took it out and put it to the side. Um, these are little bags that I got off of Amazon that I like to put my shirts in when I sell them. And then I put my little business card in there and like little care card and all that. And I just have some like stuff that I intended to use for sublimation. My transfer drawer, so... This had a bunch of these slap bracelets in it. This is the only one I have left, apparently. So I threw these in here. Um, parchment paper works kind of similar to butcher paper, so I have that. Aluminum foil for my blade. I actually, for the price, I don't mind this transfer tape. Um, it's not terrible. The only thing I wish is that it had a um, a grid either on the, um, the backing, like this does, or on the tape. I don't know. I just feel like I cut straighter when I have a grid. This is actually contact paper. I've had this forever. It kind of works as a transfer paper. Um, I've been just slowly using it up as that. And then... I accumulated a bunch of lint rollers, so I can't wait to use those up and gain a little bit of space back. This is bits and pieces of transfer tape and contact paper. Um, I have one of these light-up pads. I didn't spend the money on the Cricut brand one. I bought this one on Amazon for like 20 bucks, and I'm really glad I did because I honestly don't even hardly use it. Um... This is just like extra pieces of stuff. I've got a bunch of different types of painter's tape. What's this? Oh, that's the power cord for the thing. Um, and then I bought this from Hobby Lobby. I haven't tried it yet. Oh, and then this little thing. Again, glad I didn't pay full price. I got it for like four bucks on Amazon. I don't really use it anymore. Maybe I should go through and get the things I don't use and, um, get rid of it. <laughs> if my finger's been showing for a while, I'm sorry. But yeah, here's all these. More. Yeah, I actually use, this is mostly all vinyl. There's all these drawers. And then 
extra mat. I don't buy the Cricut brand anymore. Um, this doesn't even say what brand it is, does it? I don't know. I bought some off-brand one that had good reviews, and I got a lot of them for a really good price on Amazon. So I have those, and I think I also bought the same brand of bigger ones. Yeah. And then I did buy the Cricut version of this because it just came out, the card mat. Which I still haven't tried yet, but I was thrilled when I found that at Walmart. Which, you know, I could probably put this in a smaller drawer. Oh well. Um... I've got printable vinyl, sticker paper, transfer stuff. This is my stencil sheets. Um, all kinds of printable stuff. I found these things. I know it's for Silhouette, but why can't you use it for Cricut? I found a bunch of them are on sale. Um, printable paper. I like to try different brands of stuff. Um, water slide decal paper. Just all kinds of stuff in here. But I like to keep it towards the bottom because it's actually a pretty heavy drawer. And then this is something that I would like to take some of these smaller things out of here and put on the pegboard. But you can see I have like a bunch of different rulers. Now I know I have this. I don't like it. I don't know if I need a new blade, which the ridiculous thing is the blades cost as much as the cutter does. Like the whole thing. So that's a little ridiculous if you ask me. And I find a lot of times this thing's not big enough. And it doesn't always cut smoothly. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of it. Um, I'm probably going to end up getting rid of it in the long run. I have these things which I started using in the beginning. But I found I have a pretty good eye for centering things. And that's also what I have this for. I actually got this from the Dollar Tree. So that helps. Um, I got this thing. Let me get it out of here. On sale. Or no, not on sale. On clearance for like 8 bucks at Joann's. And I was like, well, I've heard a lot about these. I'll give it a try. Have I yet? No. Uh, this is just a bunch of rulers. Exacto blades. Scissors. Um, these I bought... For the fake flowers because I don't know if you noticed before when I showed all my scissors on the countertop. There's an X on the one pair. I made the mistake of... There's the scissors right there. I made the mistake of cutting really thick fake flower stems with them and I destroyed the blades. I tried and tried and tried to um, sharpen the blades they're a lost cause so I just use those on things that it doesn't really matter so I got these at the Dollar Tree and they work pretty good for a dollar twenty-five so I'm okay with that um, I actually got a bunch of these clamps from the Dollar Tree I think all of these came from there except for these I got at Home Depot um, but yeah, you have to kind of like make sure everything's laying flat or the drawer doesn't close. And I just got like other scissors and pliers, snips, full size tape measure. Um, I keep this stuff just because I want to keep track of what I have <laughs> and not go buying stuff again. So that's those the floor here um I guess we'll go over to the carts so my parents bought me this one for Christmas from Michael's which I'm so glad that they did when they did because recently this thing has gone up to over a hundred dollars and they were not thrilled that they paid I think 80 <laughs> And I really like it. It is amazing. I started out with the Joy on here, but when I got this, I decided I wanted this here instead. So I don't have to move it every time I want to use it. Um, so yeah, it works great for the maker. I can just roll it in and out of the 
by the desk because this is the original maker so it has to be plugged in doesn't have the Bluetooth capability um these I'll show you one that's not full. I got a pack I forget how many I think 12 of these for 40 bucks from Michaels I'd ordered online but they are really great for and I also ordered like a bunch of magnetic sheets which is that's what all those extra ones are um so what I did was let me put this over here Well, these are extra cuts that I have, but I put the magnets on either side and you can just put your dies right on the magnets. And I wasn't upset that I have extra because I have plenty of room to grow. I'm not going to open all of them up, but like I can also fit my bigger... They also sit nicely um, and they fit really well on here. I actually just did this before I started filming because it didn't look nice the way I had it before. Um, I also have like my taller embossing folders and stuff like that in there. In the other clear stamps that were too tall for the other bins I have, which I'll show you in a second. Is they're on another cart. This is... I believe all my removable vinyl. Yeah, these I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is just extra iron on. Oh, I didn't realize I had all this. Awesome. I thought I had to go buy more. I used a lot for the shirts I did yesterday. Um, this is all removable. Pretty much this whole thing is removable. Um, these are all from the Dollar Tree. Just all different. Most of this is the permanent, and then these are the faux leather. And then, yeah, this is all just removable. And I thought that worked pretty well because I know for a fact that that's what all of that is, aside from the extra sport, but they all have labels, so I know what that is. And then I can just slide it right out of the way okay so this will just hit real quick this kind of gets used for like ideally what I bought it for was drying stuff which you can see there's paint um when I need things to dry I just kind of space it out like a drying rack but it also works for holding other random stuff like this like I had to dry that stencil so I laid it there um this is was supposed to be for this. I'm not sure that I'm going to use it. These were extras I didn't use for my Mother's Day project. Not sure what I'm going to do with those. So this is what I would like to turn into my stamp and die cart. I just got this not too long ago. Um, I don't even have anything under here yet. Um, here's my rubbing alcohol. I just got this from Tailored Expressions. Worked pretty decently, I thought. Um, I got some of the anti-static powder for... Um, what you call it? Why am I so brain dead right now? Um, embossing. And then I found these. I got two of them from the Dollar Tree, so I thought I'd grab them. Um, I was not going to spend the money on a Misty. I was not about to spend fifty to seventy dollars, depending on the size. All right, I guess I just gotta. Okay, this is not a good solution because it doesn't come out. I thought it was, and it's not. Alright, so this is similar to it. It's called the We Are Precision Press. It's kind of similar to the Missy, but it doesn't have that magnetic feature. But it does have the corner, so you stick it in the corner, you put your stamp on here, and then you press it. And I'm happy with it. I think it was only 20 or 25 bucks. 
for the price difference, I'm thrilled. And then, so I have these different size, which I still need to put some of these into something. I have these different size photo containers. So I kind of did the same thing as those larger ones. These are just like cuts I did. Um, but yeah, so I just put my dies on here. And then I put the, if they have a, a stamp that goes along with it. That's this right here. And it just goes right with it. So like... All of these are not all one set, but it's a few sets that I put together because I'm not going to split everything up. I feel like it's a little much. So that's essentially what all of these are. But obviously I will have to rearrange some of that because it doesn't come out of there. So my idea wasn't so great after all, I guess. Um, I'm put these back. trying to keep this room picked up because it doesn't stay this way for very long. Any crafter knows that. Um, I have this on the other side. I didn't originally know what I wanted to do with this cart. So I had gotten all kinds of accessories. This is actually contact paper so that kind of works because it's always out for me to use. Um... So that's that. And what's nice with all three of those is they can kind of just get pushed around the room wherever I need them to go. So they're always out of my way for the most part. These things I actually found on the side of the road a while back. And I kind of use them for project ideas. So like I'll put a few things together and be like, okay, that'll be a cool project. So that's what all is in there. I'm not pulling that down. <laughs> Or opening any of these. Um, it's just too much of a hassle. I would like to eliminate them eventually. And do something better with this space here. Because it's just, it's not nice to look at. It's nicer than what I used to have, but I, I don't, I'm not thrilled with it. Um, so these, oh, these are just kitchen racks. And this is like a little tablet stand. <laughs> for lack of a better place. Um, these I like to use if I needed, well, be, before I had this thing, I used to like stand stuff up. What did I get on my hand? Um, I used to stand stuff up on this, like wood signs and stuff, which I will probably still use for some stuff because, you know, there's only so much room on that shelf. Um, these are all labeled. I'm also, part of what I don't like about these is that they're gray and not clear. I'm slowly moving over to everything clear so I can see and eventually utilize all of my supplies. So we have shipping stuff. Um, I don't know if this one's backwards or what. What's in here? Oh. The longer stemmed flowers that didn't fit on my rack over there and I didn't label it because it's not permanent storage for those um fall and Halloween stuff so spring Christmas I have two Christmas because I have a lot of Christmas stuff large wood blanks that didn't fit on my shelf and Valentine's Day so this is all just like little decorations and stuff kind of like this stuff that I found for each season, like um, little signs that I want to remake, um, little things like those beads with the flag that I had for the 4th of July, stuff like that. And just like, si um, I said signs, but whatever, that's all that kind of stuff for making signs and whatever. And I just sorted it all by holiday. And for lack of a better place, I added the shipping stuff there. Um, these are extra bins and things that I plan on utilizing. 
this is just more of those cases that I got for the stamps and dies, and I just don't have anything to fill them with. Um, it was cheaper to buy a case like that than to just order a few. The pegboards that I ordered from the Dollar Tree, beware if you do order them. There is no bubble wrap or anything in there. They're literally just in the box. Two of them came cracked. They did give me a refund. However, they did not offer a replacement. Thankfully, I'm able to still make them work. I can just glue them, but keep that in mind if you decide to order them. Um, these are just some bubble envelopes that I have. This is a Christmas ornament organizer that I got from Michael's at around Christmas time on sale. And it actually worked really good for, like, a lot of the smaller things that I bought for Christmas items that I want to use. Like, you can see I have little trees. I have little cookie cutters I wanted to make, like, a little hanging decoration type thing for. So, all that kind of stuff is in there. And, like, little ornaments and stuff. Um, I think this bottom bin is just, like like those big foam pumpkins and they wouldn't fit in with the rest of my Halloween stuff so I just put them in there um this is one of those tri-fold poster boards from the Dollar Tree which I wanted to use as a background uh, I'll show you it didn't really work very well I put contact oh it's all stuck together now this is like oh yeah it's getting taken apart. I'm just going to take all that off and ditch it. But like the idea was that was going to be my backdrop when I take pictures. And as you can see, that did not work so well once I folded it up for storage. So I'm probably just going to spray paint it black or even just paint it and be done with it and have a black background because I feel like that might be better anyway. Or maybe even white. Who knows? Um, so that's all that. You can see I have a random pool noodle in there. I like to keep one around for if I decide I need a piece of one for something. Um, <laughs> so I used to work... This kind of gives away my location. I'm in New York. I used to work at Tim Hortons. And I had two or three of these from working there. And they never asked for them back. So I just kept them. So now I use them for crafting. I think I have one up here and one downstairs for cooking. So yeah, I just have that hanging there with an S hook. And then my dad gave me this originally with an idea to use for my fake flowers, but we ended up doing the other thing instead. So it's just kind of there without a purpose for the moment. I love these containers. They are the Sterilite brand that you can find most anywhere. Um, these specifically I got from Walmart and or walmart.com because they don't always have them in the stores. They also don't always have them in stock online either. But they fit so perfectly across the shelf. Um, honestly, I may end up with more of these in the long run. And then they have all different sizes. Like I have this size here. Excuse me, I have this size here. And... This is actually one of them, too. They've just changed the color and the handles. Um, that's what they used to look like. But, so across the top, I have all of my shirts and, like, my fabric blanks. Um, the second shelf is, like, small wood stuff. Um, let's see. We got bows glues and adhesives, paints and accessories. Um, I've got some like paint markers and metallic markers in there and some tie-dye stuff. Got brushes, some of the sewing accessories, some extra fabric. Um, I think those were felt pieces left over from when I fixed that drawer that squeaked. Um, fabric paints that I had gotten really cheap from Michael's. I think they were like maybe a dollar a piece. Um, all kinds of glitter. And I got this miter saw from Walmart for like ten bucks. 
I've only used it once, but I think maybe twice. Um, I have a couple of caddies just full of, like, cheapo craft supplies, like, for my nephew when he comes over so he can color and I don't care if he ruins that stuff because it's not my good supplies. Um, this I got for my finished cards. Oh man, that's so hard to open. I hope as I use it, it gets easier. But it has like these tabs with dividers. So you can kind of like, that's not going to go back in there, is it? Whatever, it's fine. Um, so you can kind of sort them by, I'll fix that later. Um, holiday, birthday, whatever. And so I got that, I think, at Joann's. I was going to get an art bin one, but this one was cheaper. And honestly, I like the shape of this better than the art bin one. The art bin one was more rounded. Um, this is just a bunch of random cards and envelopes that have been around since before I started card making. And I haven't really used them, so I'm probably just going to give them away to like my parents or my grandparents to use. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. I just have like a bunch of little things in there. And that's why I like the clear bins, because I can see a lot of what's in the stuff. Um, this is like all glass stuff that I plan on doing something with eventually. And I wanted to make sure it wasn't going to get ruined because before I had these bins, I actually have a nick in this glass block. So when I do use that, I'm going to have to find a way to fix it. Um, like the wire wreath form type things. I have all different kinds of shapes and stuff in there of those. Um, well, some of that's not wood, but... There's, like, all kinds of wooden stuff. I even have, like, dollar store pizza pans in there. Just, like, bases for signs. Um, screen printing stuff. I just tried for the first time yesterday. Didn't go the greatest, but I'll probably give it another shot sometime. These are just really big rolls of stuff that don't fit anywhere else. Um, so I put them in one of those. And then this is all just like little frames that I've gotten from the Dollar Tree that I want to decorate. And then down here is just like some of this is just scrap wood that my dad had in the basement. And then other stuff is just like signs. I think these are cutting boards from the Dollar Tree and I thought like I could burn something into those. Um, Michael's had some signs on sale a while back so I got a bunch of those really cheap and then, yeah, basically a lot of the stuff I get like this is either on sale or clearance or something like my dad had around. Um, so that's pretty much it for that shelf. Uh, I did get this shelf on Target. On Target? On Target.com. Um, I can link that as well. I will go through after this video and kind of link some of the main things that I know should still be available. Um... Alright, let's see. Let me move my chair because I can't get in here if I don't. So, this is just the other side of that little station there. Um, let's start from here. So, these are like my taller signs and stuff that didn't fit anywhere else. And these are actually just pieces of fence that somebody gave me. I was like, here, you could use these, couldn't you? I was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, cricket mat, the self-healing mat. I don't always use that that often because I don't really want to wreck it, which I see I got some dye on it. This I had bought for, this was like $2, I think, at Michael's. It's like plastic poster board. Um, the idea was that... I could work with glitter over that and then it would kind of all stay in one area and then I could just pick it up and like hot dog it and dump it back into the bin or a little container or whatever. So we have my printers here. Um, you can see, where's my finger? There it is. Um, this is the model of this printer. 
It's an all-in-one printer, which is nice because it's so little. Um, I've had it for quite a few years. Works pretty good. The only thing is, um, if it's not directly hooked into your computer, it doesn't, like, stay online. So, like, it's directly hooked to this computer. So, if I wake it and try to print something from here, it'll wake it up. But if I try to do it from, like, my phone or my laptop, it doesn't always wake up and I'll have to come over and turn the button on. Sawgrass printer, I've used a couple times now. It's got a hair on it. <laughs> um, I like it so far. It scares the crap out of me a lot because of its little self-cleaning <laughs> feature. But that's okay. I would. The whole reason I got the sawgrass was because of that. Because the Epson printers do not do that. Um, moving on. Um, we have... This is like sublimation stuff I had gotten with the printer and other stuff I got as well and extra ink because it's been telling me I'm almost out of ink lately. Uh, I think I got that from Hobby Lobby a long time ago and it can be hung up but I just set it on top of this. Again, another thing I found in the garbage, well on the side of the road, not the garbage, was these two shelves. Um, I forget what they originally looked like, but I just spray painted them gray and I pushed them back as far as I could against the wall and it gives me a little bit more space. Doesn't match perfectly, but hey, I don't care. Um, I have a little shipping printer here because I was getting sick of having to cut all these stupid labels out when I send stuff. Um, I used to work for Amazon, so I have that stuff there because I don't feel right to just throw it out. <laughs> um, my little Google Home. I got this thing on Amazon a long time ago. Works pretty well for just like if I have a bunch of papers sitting around I can throw it in there and not have them all over the desk. This is going to become like my recipe binder. That's actually a little recipe card on top of there. Um, miscellaneous that is not actually algebra stuff anymore um i believe i've had that binder since i was in high school this up here so that's just a bunch of random notebooks and stuff um it's my computer i have two 27 inch monitors which <laughs> i didn't measure right when i got this desk and these monitors because i got them around the same time um the stands made them too tall to go underneath, so what I did was I took them off, and I got, if I can pull this out and show you, this, like, mounted stand. Ooh, it's dirty back there. So, I'll fix that after. Um, that's what they sit on, so it looks like they're just freestanding, but they're not. And then... Um, there's not really much crafty stuff in here, it's just random junk. Some candles, other random junk. Um, this thing I got for free on the side of the road. Someone's just throwing it out, so I have like card stocks and papers in here. Some decorations. Um, I've got these two little drawers down here. And some random organization, but this is just like my inks for stamping, my wooden stamps, other random stuff, and this is all just like my wrapping for gifts and whatever. That's just what all that says. I got a little safe under here. In here we have some address labels, envelopes, stamps, stapler, hole punch, extra, lots of extra staples, <laughs> binder clips, fidget spinner, my very old calculator from like seventh grade, um, ton of paper clips because my great grandma just like hoarded office supplies, um, more binder clips, 
pull punch, mini stapler. That's where this went. Oh, bottle opener. <laughs> and that's about it. Oh, and I think I have, yeah, I have a magnifying glass. And then some rubber bands. And this is like a, a light that clips onto your book. But I read a lot of paperbacks, so it doesn't work the best. It's a little heavy. And I just have some little other containers of like this. That's my label maker. And I've got some tape. Um, my little photo printer. And then I just have some accessories for my phone and watch. not much in here but this is all those um, deflecto stackable caddies on the base um, I will link where I got those I actually got a really good deal on some of those um, but yeah I just have a bunch of ribbon and all of that those are empty extra cases that's just some storage um, my velvet hangers on a hanger stand I've got this fabric holder for wrapping paper and like paper rolls um that's pretty much it down there and then I've got I did like cables and accessories and this photos and these are just like those four by six photo boxes um assorted small supplies something my grandma gave me I don't know there's really not much in here this is just like all scrapbook paper and stuff like that. But yeah, so that is my craft room. So I hope you enjoyed. Maybe got some inspiration ideas for your own. If you have any suggestions, please let me know. And I will definitely continue updating as I decide to do different things through here. But thank you for watching. Bye.